I'm really excited because I know that everything they're looking for, you know, is it's it's there. See, I never thought it would happen. I never really thought it would happen. And interestingly, I, I never met any of those guys before making this film. You know, I didn't. I haven't. I've never bumped into them at parties or award shows or stuff like that. So, so to be with them and to make this movie was was a dream come true. You know, I loved those films growing up. Hi Tom, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to talk to you. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. Come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. And I have to ask you, man, I know you've been a fan of Spider-Man since forever. Um, you grew up watching these films, you know, where Spider-Man fought maybe Dr. Octopus and and, you know, Electra and all these people. What would you say is a, a comparison or the experience, you know, expectations versus reality being that kid, you are fighting them now? I mean, it's crazy. I never thought it would happen. I never really thought it would happen. And interestingly, I, I never met any of those guys before making this film. You know, I didn't, I haven't, I've never bumped into them at parties or award shows or stuff like that. So, so to be with them and to make this movie was, was a dream come true. You know, I loved those films growing up. I was a huge fan of Spider-Man, both franchises. So, so to kind of bring them back to life was really fun. Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Do you feel like you got to bring to life any childhood games, maybe? I mean, I've been bouncing around in my bedroom in a Spider-Man costume for a very, very long time as a kid. So it's so funny, like I now just do it professionally. So yeah, so... <laughs> I uh, I have been playing a lot of games, yeah. And you know, for the last maybe two months, even more so, every time I go online, Spider-Man is trending topic everywhere, every in every social network. I want to know, do you feel like you somehow have developed a thick skin to, you know, deal with fan expectations and what they want to see on screen and what you actually know from the film? Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely have to develop a thick skin, especially when people have not so nice things to say about you. Um, but it's part of the game, it's part of the business and I'm really excited because I know that everything they're looking for, you know, are, it's, it's, it's there. It's, you know, these villains that are coming back are so, so exciting and, and I think fans will be blown away when they see Spider-Man going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of their favorite villains. We started getting some visitors. Listen, whoever has no, no good things to say about you can actually talk to me. I'm, I'm pretty ready to just defend you. Thank you, you so much. I yeah, appreciate that. You, to me, you are Spider-Man. And you Thank know, you. I want to ask you about that. What would you say is the greatest thing you've learned about yourself from not only your version of Peter Parker, but also growing up with other versions of Peter Parker as well? I think one of the best things I've learned from playing Spider-Man is that like, if I set my mind to it, I could probably do it. And I mean, and I, with anything really, but so I've done things that I've, on this Spider-Man journey that I never dreamed I'd be able to do. And, and it's all from hard work and, and, and dedication. And, and, you know, so it's kind of given me this, this mentality where if I want to do something, I'll do it. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> I'm always very impressed on how you're still the kid I met from the Impossible Junket. You're still the same. What would you say is what keeps you grounded and what keeps you being yourself despite all the attention you get? Because honestly, you should feel proud of yourself. Thank you. I mean, my friends, I, like I have a, a team of people that I work with and they're all my best friends from when I was much, much younger and they keep me very grounded. My family keep me grounded, you know, and And yeah, I guess I'd say that's it. I'm also just Tumblr. a nice person as well. Like, I don't <laughs> want to be a dick. <laughs> They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. It's not my fault. I can't save everyone.
They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them.